As trends like dry January and sober October become more popular, many people are choosing to limit their alcohol consumption. Our Vivian Rennie caught up with some Central Coast winemakers who are creating an option for anyone who still wants a glass of wine just without the alcohol. Hi, Vivian. Thanks, Neil. The non-alcoholic wine and beer industry is rapidly expanding with options popping up across the globe and even right here on the Central Coast. I got a look into the production of one non-alcoholic wine in Santa Maria and the demand for options like it right here in San Luis Obispo. It's, it's a great alternative because it's, it's still a beverage that appeases the senses, but it's uh, not going to weigh you down or slow you down. Options for non-alcoholic versions of our favorite drinks seem to be popping up left and right as the industry rapidly expands. The dry January is uh, something that a lot of people talk about, but um, it's more of giving their bodies uh, a break from alcohol and, and doing things that are, that are health conscious. When comparing 2020 to 2021, sales of non-alcoholic beers grew 200% non-alcoholic spirits grew 600 percent and alternative wine options grew 300 percent. Some of that growth happened at Miller Family Wines based in Santa Maria with their launch of Hand on Heart Wines. We chose to focus on Chardonnay and uh, Cabernet Sauvignon because those are uh, two varieties that are very familiar. People know them, they understand them, they know what kind of flavors to expect. Um, and then we also wanted to do a rosé because rosés are just kind of fun. Most alcohol alternatives use the process of vacuum distillation to remove the alcohol but leave the flavor. I generally see it's people that um, want to quit drinking and it just gives them, you know, kind of a, a platform to kind of break away from it. A lot of pregnant women um, are excited about it because, of course, they can't drink. So uh, it's, a, it's a fun way for them, I think, to... Uh, to kind of cheat or at least you know feel like they're cheating. Whatever the reason someone chooses an alcohol free version, the industry is growing fast. We started off at about 10,000 cases and um, it, it's one of those things where we made enough to kind of have that demand in dry January and uh, we just want to see how it organically grows. I think there's many ways in which it fits into our society, into functionality. Um, and, and I think because of that, it's, it's something that will uh, possibly continue to grow. Some more information on the process of creating a non-alcoholic wine can be found on this story at ksby.com.